Hey, welcome back. And if you're new here, my name is Christina Kent and I'm an artist based out of San Francisco. Over the past few years, I've been selling my work both online and in person. And that means that I had to learn how to ship my art. How do I pack it correctly so that it can get to its destination, whether it's going to just a different city or if it's going to a different country. And if you've never done it before, it can be really intimidating, especially if you have works on canvas like this one. Um, they can be really delicate and you want to make sure that the way that you ship it, it's going to get to the, its destination safely. So in my previous video, I talked a little bit about how I ship my works on panel. And this video is going to be pretty similar, but it's going to focus on shipping works on canvas. The process is similar. Um, a lot of the materials that you need are the same, but there are a few different tweaks that I use to just to um, account for the fact that canvases are more delicate. They can get punctured, they can get dented. And so we really want to make sure that when we're shipping works on canvas, we're protecting them in a way that they'll be able to, um, they'll be safe as they as they go with the shipping carrier. And the method I'm going to be talking about today works for a variety of sizes of works on canvas. So from this size, which is about 12 inches by 16 inches, to um, I've done up to two feet by three feet size paintings using this method. Um, if I go much larger, then I would ship it a little bit differently usually, either taking the painting off the frame and rolling it, or, um, or working with a professional art handling service that can take paint that, you know, carefully transports paintings using vans or something like that. Um, once you get to the really large sizes, you can't always use the regular shipping carriers like FedEx or UPS, but um, this one works quite, this, this method is gonna work quite well for a painting like this size or around the similar size. So what supplies do you need if you wanna ship a work on canvas? So first you're gonna need some sheets of cardboard. I like to reuse cardboard as much as possible. I think we have just enough packaging in the world. So um, here are just some sheets from some old boxes that I cut up. Um, you'll want two sheets that are about the same size as your painting. And then you'll want a few other smaller cardboard squares. We're going to be using this to create some corners, protective corners for the painting. Um, you'll want some sort of tape or stickers. You'll want some glassine paper for wrapping the painting. Um, a box cutter for cutting the cardboard and a sharpie and measuring tape for doing some size measurements. And then of course you'll want a larger box for the painting. It's usually good to get a box that's a few inches larger on all sides than the painting itself and packing materials such as foam or um, bubble wrap or, um, or also packing paper, things like that. And as a quick note, this video isn't sponsored by anyone, but if you find it helpful, if you like my work and you want to support me, you can purchase my paintings through my website. You can like, comment, subscribe to this channel, or you can support my work on Patreon. All of these things really help. All right, let's get to it. So first, we're going to protect the surface of the painting. I like to use glassine paper for this. I've seen other artists use some sort of plastic. I think it's important to find a material that's acid free, and I think glassine paper works really well. So I'm going to be using that to just wrap the, the surface of the painting. Okay, so now I've covered the surface of the painting with this glassine paper. So that'll protect it from like oil and other like minor scratches and small things like that. And also one thing I'll say is um, this method, it works really well for kind of flatter, thinner paintings. If you're doing really impasto brush marks, um, then you might want to use a slightly different method, something that doesn't directly come in contact with the surface. But for me, I paint sort of thinner, so this works pretty well. And, and it goes without saying that make sure the painting is dry before you do this step. So now that we have the painting surface covered, we're going to make some corners that we're going to put on the edge just to protect the corners of this painting from any sort of bumps. To do this, we're going to take these cardboard squares and we're going to use our measuring tape to figure out how thick the edges of the canvas are. So mine, this canvas is about one and a half inches thick. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two sets of lines on here. So I'm going to go one and a half inches and then I'm going to go three inches and make two lines. And I'm going to make two more lines to end up making this shape that we can kind of fold over to create these little corners to protect the edges. So it'll make more sense when I do it. Okay, so here you can see I've made a mark at one and a half inches, a line here and another line at three inches. And then I've done the same thing on this side. Now also you might wanna use a, a ruler so you can get a little bit straighter line, but it's pretty forgiving if it's not perfect. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cut out this center square, and then we're going to lightly score these two lines with our box cutter, and then we'll be able to make a corner for this painting. So I'll show you how it's done. So now I've cut out 
this little square, and then I'm gonna score these lines. So don't cut all the way through, just, just lightly run the box cutter over so that we can fold them over. So I've scored the lines, and now you can see I can fold them like so and make a nice little corner for the painting. So I'm gonna get some tape so that we can tape this up so that it'll hold steady. And I'll also check that it fits the painting, and as you can see, it, it's a nice fit. Okay, so now I have my four corners made, so I'm gonna put them on the edge of the edges of the paintings, and then I'm gonna be using these sheets of cardboard to place it on either side of the painting to give it a little bit more protection. So you can see here's the painting with the corners on and then the cardboard sheet on top, and then I'm gonna tape this cardboard sheet to the corners so that they stay in place. So now you can see I have kind of made this makeshift almost like a box for the painting. Um, but you can see that the surface of the painting is protected so that if anything puts pressure on it, then at least we have this layer of cardboard. And the back is protected as well, and then we have extra protection for the corners. Now I'm going to take this plastic sheet and wrap a layer of it around the painting to give it even more protection. You could also use bubble wrap, um, or at this point you can use just a lot of packing paper as well. Um, just, just to give some extra cushioning for the painting. Oh, and at this point, um, if you're gonna add a thank you note or something, I usually like to add that, so I'm gonna take a moment to do that too. So now the painting has this extra layer of protection and I'm ready to put it in the box. Here's the box I'll be using, and as you can see, there's a few inches of space around all edges of the painting, and it's also not super deep, but also not super shallow, so there's, there's some space above and below the painting, too. And then I'm just going to fill in this extra space with packing material. I'll be using some packing paper for this. So yeah, that's basically my process for how I ship works on canvas. And one other tip to note, when selecting boxes, um, sometimes it can be hard to find these like sort of more narrow boxes for shipping artwork. I like to reuse boxes that I get for when I order shipping, like, or when I order art supplies. Oftentimes they come, like this box was from an order of art supplies. Um, and also you can look online for like TV or mirror boxes. Those also tend to be, um, those tend to be relatively flat, so they're good for shipping art. Let me know what you thought of this video, and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Also, if you have any recommendations on how you like to ship art, I would love to hear them. And as always, a huge shout out to my supporters on Patreon. Thank you guys so much for supporting this channel and making these videos happen. If you like my art, if you like my videos, and you want to help me make more, check out my Patreon at the link. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.